Hello, my amazing artists. Today we're gonna do a really fun winter project. We're gonna start it. It'll probably take us two, two class periods to finish. Um, but we're gonna do our first step before I even tell you what it is or explain how to do it. We need to do one first step with paint because it needs to dry before we start our next one. So let me show you what that is. The first step in our mystery winter project is to take a toothbrush. You'll have to share a toothbrush with your partner because there's only enough for one for every two people, okay? So share with someone next to you, but you're gonna take a toothbrush and you're going to dip it in a little bit of white paint. And I mean really a little bit. Like you can still see, there's a little bit on the tips, but um, it's not like soaking in the whole brush. That's about what you want. If you have a crazy amount, it's not gonna work the right way, okay? So your finger is gonna get a little bit painty, but it's kind of fun. You dip it and then you're going to flick it. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna to touch the bristle side and then I'm gonna flick it onto my paper. So watch this. I'm just kind of doing multiple little flicks. Boom, boom, flick, flick, flick. And it's making it look like little stars. I might do one more dip because I feel like that was kind of scarce. Can you see these? Fun little stars. So I'm gonna do one more dip. I wouldn't really do more than two though. One or two. Okay, I dipped it one more time and I'm going to flick. There we go, that's some bigger chunks. Perfect. Now when you're done with that, you can wipe your finger off and we're ready for the next step. Okay, now that our paper is dry, we are ready to move on to the next step of creating our landscape. So you're going to start with a white piece of chalk and we're going to make a line, the horizon line, which is a horizontal line that's gonna just go right in the middle of your paper and go all the way across. The nice thing is land is not perfectly straight so you don't need to worry if your line is not a perfect straight line, right? It should just kind of be, it can be a little bumpy and horizontal. So I'm gonna go from mine. There we go. And then our mountains are gonna be pretty small because we want a lot of space for the cool stuff going on up in the sky, right? So I'm just gonna do kind of a bumpy, jaggedy line that's not super far above here, like about here. And notice I'm just kind of making it jaggy. I'm like vibrating my hand a little bit. There we go. That's gonna be our mountain line. And then we're going to color that in. It doesn't have to be perfect because remember you can blend it with your finger, right? But um, we're gonna add the white into it so we can blend it and make it look like snowy, beautiful mountains. Got it colored, now I'm ready to blend. Okay, now I have my beautiful mountains. Um, the next thing we need to do is reverse it. So there's gonna be um, a lake out here that this is all reversing onto, like a mirror, a mirror image. So we need to make this same thing under here and you want it to look kind of like a mirror. Um, I find it easier to flip my paper sideways to do this because it's kind of easier to do the same thing on this side. So I can see I did a big diagonal here. I'm gonna make a diagonal here some little bumps. Okay, they're not gonna be perfect, but try your best to kind of make it look the exact same on this side. All right, so that's my finish line. You can tell it's not totally perfect, but I tried to match like a little hump here, a little one there, a big bump here, a big bump here, so. Anyway, then we do that same step of coloring it in, but there's one thing you wanna do that's a little bit different. <clears throat> you want to leave the thinnest little black line here, so rather than meeting the white all the way up to here so it looks like one big white blob, if you leave a thin little black line, that will make it look like it's, it's where the water starts and the land finishes, um, so it'll look a little more realistic. So let me show you a little example. I'm gonna draw in the bottom 
It's like the tiniest, I'll hold it up close to the camera. It's like the tiniest little black line. It's not anything huge. But if we do that and then color the rest, do it like that it kind of looks a little more realistic so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up all right so there's my finished uh, double line, symmetry line, when I turn it over, now it kind of looks like my mountains are being reflected into the water. And we'll make it look even more realistic in a little bit, but that's kind of just the good start to it. Alright, this next step is just where the magic happens. It's so much fun. So, you're going to take your little scratch paper and we're going to make a rip in it. You want the rip to be kind of bent and gross looking, so not gross looking, but kind of jagged. So I'll like pull it a little bit to the right, pull it to the left, pull it to the right, to the left. Try to really make that curvy and cool. Okay, so now my edge looks something like that. Um, now we're going to make our Aurora Borealis. We're going to make our Northern Lights. So you'll get your colorful chalk. Oops, I'm going to put a warm color in the cool colors. Um, you'll get your colorful chalks. And it's best to choose ones that are kind of in the same color family. So I'm going to do like maybe three colors on here. But um, I'm going to do like blues and purples. I'm going to choose cool colors to do in it. Because if I do like red and blue two like super opposite red is warm blue is cold um if i do that when they mix together they're gonna look kind of muddy and sad um so anyway i'm gonna start with cool colors you're gonna put your paper across your other paper however you want that first shape to be i'm gonna make my first one up here on the top of my sky so you put it up there and then what you do is just put color right on the edge of your white paper and then you can mix. So look, I'm, as of right now, I'm not really even getting it on my black paper. I'm just coloring it on the edge of my white. I'm gonna switch colors here. Okay, now once you have that, the way we make it look like Northern Lights is you take your finger, you start it on your white paper in your chalk pastel, and then you pull it up onto the black. Oops, that was the morning bell. Okay, so you pull it up onto your black. Keep pulling and pulling and pulling. See how it's making, you can kind of see how it's making the shape already. Pull it, pull it, pull it. I guess I'm really pushing it. Pushing the color up. Okay, that's the end of mine. And then when you let it off of the paper, Ooh, check that out. Okay, nice. Now I'm gonna rip this one because I want a new shape. So I'm gonna rip it again and try and make new zigzags and curves. I got my new shape. I'm gonna place it in a new spot. Maybe I'll go right hmm, up here. And I'm gonna do that same thing, choose some colors that I like. Okay, when you lift it up, ooh la la. So you're just gonna keep on doing that. The next step would be rip a new shape and choose some new colors and create some more. You only wanna do them on this top half of the mountains because we're gonna do it a little bit different down here in the lake reflection, okay? So fill up your sky. I'll go ahead and fast forward me doing that. So if these ones are closest to the mountains, 
you would flip it and make these ones close to the mountains, right? I wouldn't put that purple way up here. I'd put it down here close to the mountain. So I'm gonna take my purple and I'm not gonna use my paper to spread it. I'm just gonna do some faint lines. So this one goes, um, starts down at the peak of the mountain and then goes up toward the sky. Maybe I'll do it this way so it's easier. Starts here and goes out. So I'm gonna do a faint little outward line and then it kind of goes out a little more squiggly and down. So I'll do that. Okay, and then I would just kind of smudge it to make it not look so perfect. Boom, there's one reflection. Then I've got this green above it. I think that looks pretty close, close enough to be my nice little reflection. Okay, the very final step of our project is to add some trees and little silhouettes back here. So um, we're imagining the, it's a night sky, right? So the trees aren't going to be like green how they normally would be. They'll just be black shadows. So you're gonna take a black oil pastel and we're gonna make some trees. Um, you just start by making the, I guess it's not a stem, the trunk. Start by making the trunk of the tree, and it'll be a straight line that goes up. You don't want it to be taller than the mountains, right? So that'll be like my tall one. I'll do a short one. You can kind of just change up the sizes. Do as many trees as you want. <coughs> <coughs> And then making the branches are pretty easy. We're gonna do just pine trees. And you'll do little diagonal lines out. They'll be really short up at the top and really long or wide at the bottom. And then you'll just kind of start short and get bigger and bigger. So it'll be like this. So I have my trees on the top side. Now we need to reflect them in the water. So you'll do it a little bit lighter down here if you want. So that is the project. Um, the last step you can add is some little horizontal lines with your white chalk or kind of kind of like jaggedy horizontal lines so it looks like water ripples. Um, anyway, that's something that can add a little more of a realistic touch to your work. 